We are going to be covering how to sign up for verified carrier status. First of all, what is a verified carrier and what are its benefits? Becoming a verified carrier is a way to book loads faster when on super load board. Most brokers have their own carrier compliance process that requires you as the carrier to send them information regarding your company. Super Dispatch allows you to speed up this process by uploading these documents now so the broker can view them immediately after you request a load. Let's start by clicking the profile icon in the bottom left corner. We are looking for carrier profile right here. In here, we are going to find all kinds of information about our company. Along the left hand side, we can see carrier info, contact info, cargo insurance, W9, and so on. Not all of these are necessary, but we will cover the basics needed for verified carrier signup. Let's begin with become verified carrier. Now we have a clearer view for what kind of information is needed. So we will just make our way down each field for step one. We'll start with the address of our company and fill that out, along with the city, state, and zip. Contact is going to be the primary communicator for the company, so we will fill out their information as well. Note that in company info, you do not need to provide your MC number, and we'll continue to cargo insurance. With cargo insurance, we do need the document itself saved to our computer in an image or PDF format. Let's click on Choose File, then we will navigate the menus to find the cargo insurance file. Click on the file, then hit Open. While that is uploading, you can start filling out the fields down below. This is all information that would be found on your cargo insurance document. It is just a simple matter of translating that information over to these fields here. Note that the auto policy number and cargo policy number are optional. So don't worry if you don't have that information. Your agent info should also be on the cargo insurance form. This is very important. Please provide their name, phone number, and email. Super Dispatch will be contacting them to confirm your cargo coverage. With that done, we can continue to the W9 and USDOT. Much like the cargo insurance file, we will be doing the exact same thing for both the W9 and USDOT certificate. For more information on where to acquire these, you can contact the IRS for a W-9 and the FMCSA for a USDOT certificate. If you're familiar with SaferWeb, the FMCSA's database of USDOT numbers, you can search for your number and screenshot those results too. That can be substituted for a USDOT certificate. Then we can submit our application. We got a pop-up window saying a request was accepted and is awaiting verification. It still viewed the load board while we were waiting for review. This process can take three to five business days depending on cargo coverage verification. And with that, we are done. We can see now that we are pending activation in the top left corner. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Super Support.